So, uh, it's 10.33 a.m. in the UK right now. And, uh, day one of no Apex Legends mobile. <clears throat> Normally, I'd be setting up to do some recordings of gameplay, trying to get my sensitivity right, trying to figure out how to solve issues. Just generally have fun, you know? But uh, it's gone. Apex Legends Mobile has gone into hibernation mode again. And we don't know how long it's going to last. We don't know when it'll be back. You know what, guys? <laughs> it's the calm before the storm, baby! Apex Legends Mobile might have gone into hibernation. CBT4 might have finished officially but you know what the work doesn't stop there the fun does not stop there the content <laughs> definitely does not stop there the energy definitely does not stop there okay all right so basically what's next you guys are probably wondering what's next let me just let me just fix up the camera because it's it's a little bit too low oh baby all right okay oh it's, i think it's still a little bit low oh all right, okay, so guys, CBT4 has been an absolute pleasure to play in Apex Legends Mobile. Absolutely insane, tons of new features, new features that aren't even available on PC, and there's just so many things that came out for CBT4 that I said in the previous Ice Talks video that we just didn't expect to come at all, right? So there's be definitely been a lot of improvements. As far as game mechanics go, as far as game features go, as far as um, the, the entirety of the game goes, it is ready for launch. They don't need to add anything else. Like I said before, again, I will say it again, they just need to polish the stuff that they have now. Personally, I don't think they should add anything anymore. No, I'm wrong. Actually, I want them to add custom rooms. Hopefully the custom rooms is going to be a thing because that is going to be a... That is the fundamentals of esports in terms of gaming, right? So people need to get into the same lobby to compete against each other. So basically today, you know, well yesterday, it was a sad day that the game is finished. I just I managed to get everything that I wanted to record. So I've got a, a ton, a ton of stuff that I am currently preparing. Yesterday when the game finished, I spent... I spent the entire day, let me just put this away because I keep hitting it. <laughs> I spent the entire day just planning and just, you know, going back as to how the last three or four months has been for me as a content creative Apex Legends Mobile. How to look at where I started, how to look at my improvements, how to look at my weaknesses, where I can improve and stuff like that. And also what direction I want to push my, my content to. As you guys all already know anyway, my focus is going to be helping the community from beginners all the way to advanced with guides, gameplay breakdowns, news and all that sort of stuff. So. I I cannot unfortunately commit to the esports scene. I I have a busy schedule for work and you know family and stuff like that. So I can't commit to my team and say right I'm gonna I'm gonna scream with you guys every day. I'm gonna do this tournament that. I just it's just something that I cannot do. I cannot even commit to being a sub. So with that in mind, comp scene is just out of the equation for I stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on the stuff that I'm actually really good at. Uh, I'm a, Some of you guys already know, I'm a dance teacher. Uh, I've, I've always been in this sort of teaching teaching circle. I really love teaching. I really love helping people. I really love watching people grow as a person and, and their skill sets and stuff like that. So I'm going to use that sort of passion and skill into, into my content creation and do that for my Apex Legends mobile community, the players. So that's where... That's where the, the, the direction uh, of my content is going to go to. Uh, hopefully you guys are going to stick with me because I'm going to be dropping a hell of a lot of, 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 of good guys. Just have a look at this right now. 
But yeah, look, that's what's next for Ice Cream. But what is next for Apex Legends Mobile? We don't actually know. The devs are very quiet in terms of providing us with information. I mean, the last time they just told us that the dates were coming out, they didn't really hype it up. They don't tend to hype it up. They tend to leave it to us to hype it up. But yeah, as far as what's next for Apex Legends Mobile, they haven't told us when the next round is going to be out. We don't know what the next round is going to be. Is it going to be open beta? Is it going to be soft launch? Is it going to go straight into global launch? Exactly when is it going to go to global launch? We don't really know. Nothing has been said by the devs in a specific manner. The only really specific thing that they mentioned was in the previous EA conference that they had a few months ago that, you know, global launch is looking likely to be around about May next year, May, April, something like that. So that's quite a long time away. That's a few months away looking at the calendar. Now it's like five months away. So that's, that is a long time to wait for global. However, I don't think based on CBT4, the game is ready to be launched as far as polishedness goes if that's even a word there was a lot of bugs there were game breaking bugs they were they were bugs to the point where i just couldn't play the game at all i couldn't i i, I had to reinstall the game and, and and adjust my game boosting on my device and all, all that sort of stuff for the green screen problems but yeah the game is not ready for launch as far as fluidity goes, as far as consistency goes. Mechanics wise, as far as the gameplay is definitely there. It's, it's, let's compare it to the games like PUBG Mobile, Cyber Hunt, COD Mobile. When they first ever launched, it was nowhere near as in depth as this game. This game literally has a ton of features, which is also why this game probably broke because you know, it's, it's just, everything's just come out in such a short amount of time that it's being speed run. You know, there's a lot of features that's been brought on so obviously there were going to be a lot of bugs to come with that but that's what the beta testing is for that's what i was there for that's what all the other ccs were there for the other players we were all here to help make the game better but yeah look guys i just wanted to catch up with you guys um and i i, I guess some of you are wondering what's going to be next for myself what's going to be next for apex legends mobile what's going to be next for the apex legends mobile community yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that the work doesn't stop here in fact i was brainstorming yesterday i am going to do a massive brand over overhaul upgrade and everything else visuals and whatever else as well as content i wrote down everything that i wanted to make i have an absolute shared load of lists uh, to go through as far as guides content gameplay montages and stuff like that so the work doesn't stop the content doesn't stop it's probably not going to be daily because i want to focus more on quality than actual quantity so i want every single video to be as engaging as the next as the previous so yeah um content for me is not going to stop but just make sure that you guys are expect not expect expecting daily content anymore okay as far as apex legends mobile goes i cannot wait for the next round i hope to see you guys in the next one and look let me know what you're excited about let me know what you didn't like in cbt4 in the comment section below and if you haven't done so already please hit that like button if you like this video and my other videos and if you want some more videos like this in the future hit that sub button and if you want to be one of the first to find out when i drop a new video hit that bell notification button peace